Hello everyone, Miss James here. Welcome to another Teacher Tip Tuesday, where every Tuesday I share a different virtual learning teaching tip and trick for all of you virtual teachers out there. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to collectively move multiple objects on a Google slide at the same time. If you would like to learn how to do this, then just keep watching. So I love creating Bitmoji classrooms for my students and this week is Halloween week. So I thought about celebrating with my students by making this awesome, fun, interactive Google Classroom Halloween style. I mean, come on, I love it. So I will link down below where I got this free template from and I will also link the other websites I use to put in these gifts. As you can see, there's a little spider that's popping down. There's a skeleton sitting at my desk and there's a witch poster that is moving. Those are all gifts and I will show you also later on this video how to insert them. It is super easy and super fun. So let's get started. What I like to do is I like to make this Google slide interactive. So when my students open this up, they can click on any of the objects and go to different websites. This one is Halloween themed. So I have a Halloween memory game, a ghost typing keyboard. My students are in second grade and learning how to use the computer. So typing games are great for them. Um, I also have read alouds. I have books like Get Epic. I have Mystery Doug. I love Mystery Doug. Again, I'll link him down below, but some great educational, fun activities for my friends that are Halloween themed. I wanna add a few more images into this Google slide. And so here's what I'm gonna teach you today. When you wanna move multiple objects at the same time, all you have to do is start by clicking the first object that you want to move. Once you have it highlighted, then you need to hold down the shift key. Hold this down while you click on the other objects that you would also like to move. Now you can see that they're all highlighted. Once they're all highlighted, then all you have to do is use the arrows on your keyboard to move them wherever you want to collectively as a group. So I am moving mine down here and I want them to fit on my whiteboard. Here's the next awesome thing that you can do. Not only can you move objects as a group, but since they're still all highlighted, I can now resize them together. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize them smaller so they all fit. And I'm gonna use my arrows again to move them up and down. Again, all you have to do to move items collectively together as a group is just click on one, hold down that shift key and click the other objects that you would like to move at the same time time. And then once you get them in your desired spot that you want them to be, you're done. It is that easy. Now, let me show you how I add in GIFs into this PowerPoint. I like to use the website called Giphy. So I just type it in on Google. It pops up. All you have to do is go up to the top of the page in the search bar. I put in Halloween. And then it refreshes and shows you all the Halloween gifts that it has. I tried to make sure that mine were transparent so you couldn't see anything in the background. But once you find the one that you love, like this is amazing, all you have to do is click this little link button and you will know that it's been copied to your clipboard when that green bar pops down at the top of your screen. Then go back into your Bitmoji slide and then you're gonna to go to the insert button, click image, and then click by URL link, and you're gonna go control B. So all I did was click, hold down the control button on my keyboard, and then press the V letter on your keyboard, and it pasted the URL link into that, and there it popped up. All I have to do is press insert, and it is now in my Bitmoji slide. I can now resize it. I can put it wherever I would like, and it is done. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for our Teacher Tip Tuesday. I hope you found this video very helpful. And as always, I hope you tune in next time for more teaching tips. Hope y'all have a wonderful Tuesday and happy Halloween. Bye.